Now gets, let's get to the real stuff here, right? Let's let's get to the Miami Heat as they are now 12 and 15 and they are as inconsistent as it gets. They are just, I don't know what to think about Miami, man. The Jimmy Butler and Bam are both great, but the, everyone around them just plays kind of weird. You know, Tyler Hero tonight, 23 points. Bam had 12, 5 of 11 shooting. And you might say, how can you say Bam? How can you, you know, not, not have Tyler Hero with them in that conversation? And he should probably be. You, you're probably right. But I still feel like it's wildly inconsistent from everyone except maybe Jimmy. But uh, you got just an ugly offense that gets really stale a lot of the time and you got inconsistent shooters max Struz has been really off since the beginning of the season where he started off hot and as one of my six men of the year candidates he's been pretty bad lately we got victor oladipo who's, who's bad on defense and you know he can still put up points but his impact is nowhere near it used to be you got Dwayne dedman who might be one of the worst backup centers in the league to be honest with you and uh, duncan robinson is unplayable with his 90 millions you got wasted spot with you don't haslam even though of course he's heat culture right but what is really heat culture here when you're just losing playing inconsistent offense that gets really dry really quickly and the defense is not as good as you would think it could be with Jimmy, Bam, Adebayo, Kyle Lowry. You got Tyler Hero, who's obviously not great at defense, but you know, you should be able to master with those three guys. But Kyle Lowry is not the same. Uh, Caleb Martin and everyone off the bench is not that great on defense. So it's really rough in Miami. And I don't know what they should do, right? Because maybe you can trade Duncan Robinson's contract with something for somebody, but for, you know, who, who would that be actually, right? Because somebody would have to match his money and you would probably have to give up a pick or I don't know man. I really am lost with what Miami can do here to savor this. I still feel like they're dangerous if they, you know, get it together, but it's really not looking like it. And we're, you know, it's like 25 games in, right? 27 games they played already and nothing has changed so far. They've been as inconsistent as ever. They've not showed us that they can, you know, put together a couple of games. 